there was a lot of problem in Nigeria because I had some of my, my big players that I, didn't, I decided not to take with me, but reason is best known to me, but most of Nigerians didn't understand that it's not um, only a skillful player that can do the job for you in the tournament. You want the mentality to be strong, you want team player, you want people that can really work for the team. And that is the way I went. But beyond that, I know there's a lot of talent, potential in this team. But it's going to take a while to build and um, for them to understand the style of play I want them to play and for me also to understand if they can do it. But um, well, thank God it's going well. 1994 score took us five years to build. This team is just five weeks old and I don't want you guys to get it wrong. We're just, we're just growing. Don't think we're there and that's it. There's, we can't lose a game. We, you know, it's going to be like this for now. Sometimes this goes up and down. We're still adding and subtracting. If I see any player that is very good, that can provide something tangible for my team, I'll bring him in. I'm still building. So, but I don't know if I'm going to be building because after the final on Sunday, I don't know if I'm still going to be in Nigeria or not. So <laughs> you might be the one building. <laughs> uh, we're still working on it. We, 1994 squad is, is a wonderful squad. The spirit in that team is, is unbelievable. We're just like friends. We're brothers, in short. And... Until I can get that same atmosphere with this team, I think there is talent, but you need strong mentality here. You need character, and it's coming in gradually. What are you concerned about who did I dedicate this um, victory to? To God. It's to God that I dedicate this to, and, and also Nigerians, because Nigerians, they've missed out a great deal for over, over a few years now that they've been looking for this. My goal was to put smile in Nigerian faces, and, and I thank God we could, just, it's not just me, but the players, of course, the players, not me, I didn't do anything, I was just screaming. 80% of the players I know, I know how they play, voilà. and we work on that. They know the team, the team is good, the team of Mali is very good, and uh, like uh, the uh, player as Keita is a very, very good player, So, but they also know that uh, they are very slow, so they've taken the advantage of, uh, no, you know, very slow. A, little bit yeah, slow. a little bit slow, so they've taken the advantage of uh, attacking so quickly the ball on the ground. In this situation, it's a difficult situation to have a fair analysis, but uh, I think that the experience has played a very important role. As we've got a young team, but they've got a built team. But uh, what I can say that uh, in this situation, I'm very down, but uh, I can say that they've won and they are better team than us. Par rapport à votre analyse, je la partage pas. Je veux dire, comme cibler un certain nombre de joueurs. Euh... It doesn't share your analysis as concerning a player who are not there. It's not uh, maybe he can blame himself because they didn't take advent, uh, full uh, advantage of the potential of other players. But uh, when it comes to the national team, everyone has a chance, and it's only those the players who are fit and to come and play. But as uh, this team, what happened to the team today? It's it's only something very difficult, but a team as Mali, they've been able to reach the semi-final, and that's what is good. Ils ont de bonnes chances. Maintenant, on sait que sur une finale, tout est possible. Et j'avais également trouvé que le gars. The coach has seen a, a good team after what has happened today. Uh, it's a team of confidence. They are with the same confidence after beating uh, uh, Avery Coast and they're looking at their way to final, they've got also that confidence. But uh, against any other team like Burkina Faso or, or, or Ghana, they can still use their confidence, but uh, the football, anything can happen.